How you doing? Welcome. When we come back, we're going to be talking rules about bocce ball. Welcome back. And let's talk, let's talk about bocce ball. Bocce ball was uh, made popular in the United States in the early 1900s. An offshoot of bocce is pétanque. And if Lexi could go ahead and show a pétanque ball and marker. Get, get both of them, please. Pétanque is using a smaller marker, which is a, called a jack or polino. And the balls are steel, and they're not colored. They actually have uh, one ring and two rings to show which ones are, are separate. And it's played with three balls normally. So thank you. <clears throat> so this video is for Miss Mills' fifth period junior high PE class. So I hope uh, you guys watch this and uh, enjoy playing uh, bocce ball. So we start out by flipping a coin and Let's say Lexi won the toss. She gets to go ahead and throw the Polino or the Jack. That's a pretty good one. And we're gonna play an alternating game first. There's two ways of playing and only one way of scoring. So we're gonna play this game and alternating. So I will go first and no matter what distance I get to the Polino, Lexi will throw hers and then we'll go back and forth with that. And it's an alternating and then I'll show you what uh, happens with the in and out version of scoring. That's not bad. She almost she almost kissed it, which is uh, bocce is Italian for kiss. Oh, that helped Lexi out a little bit. So right now I have one point since I am closer. <clears throat> oh. Oh. And just like that. So what we'll do is we'll go down and score that. Now how you score that, you want something to have a, uh, to be able to measure. So we'll go with the first ball that we know is closer, which is Lexi's. So Lexi will only be the person getting any type of score off of this round. Then we'll go to, to the first ball closest after that, which looks like this one, 25 inches. And so we'll measure Lexi's to see if she gets anything. And that's 28 inches. So the scoring stops right there. Lexi will get one point. Call her the away team. She'll get one point. And then you pick up your balls and resume play. Okay, now we'll play the in and out version. So I threw the Polino. Now Lexi will go first. She moved the Polino, that's really good. That looks like it's actually kissing, that a possible two points. So I definitely want to hit her ball and get that out of the way. So I did move the Polino, which is good for me. But since she is closer, I'm out, so I will continue playing until I can get closer. And that's still, she is still closer. Now since I rolled that, here's a little tip. Um, this material gives a little bit. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna throw it underhand, but I'm gonna put a backspin on it so it stops. And I wanna throw a little bit higher. There we go. So now that I'm the in person, she gets to go and she has, uh, until she can beat my blue ball, She'll continue throwing until she can beat it. If she can't beat it, then I still have one ball to get an extra point. So right now I have one point.
So she's out, so she'll continue. I believe, just from looking at it here, she is still out, so she'll continue. And she got a bad hop on that one. So I'm gonna try and uh, hit her two yellow balls and split them. And hopefully my red ball stays there. Nope. So we'll go down there. And what happens is I only have one point because I am the closer point and scoring stops that way. Okay, Lexi and I are gonna play a game. This play, uh, bocce ball is usually played till 12 and you have to win by two. Lexi won the toss. One point, two feet, and two feet three inches. So I will get two points and scoring will stop there. Since I won, I will throw the Polino. Now there is a rule that I didn't mention is You have to choose that uh, playing with the side walls or not. If it hits the side wall, if it's, if, it, if it's dead or is it alive? And then the back wall is always a dead ball if it hits. I'm sorry for this one though. Um, when I threw the marker, was the uh, Polino was out of frame. But uh, what happens here is I end up actually getting just one point on Lexi. And we'll continue from here. Thanks. <clears throat> That's a good throw. That's a really good throw. Ooh, I thought that was going to slow down. So we are playing in out and I'm still in. So she'll continue throwing until she can get in. Thank you. One ball left. She did what I wanted to do last game. So I really don't want to touch. I just want to get inside of her green ball there. That did not work. That got inside of it. I'm going to try and get one more inside. Without hitting it. <laughs> That'll have to be measured. I think I got it. Oh, yeah. 28 inches out and I'm uh, 18 inches here. So I get three points on that round. 6-0. On this one I'm going to go for the sidewall. I'm going to go this way a little bit. Well, like I'll go this way. Once again, I'm not a professional videographer or bocce ball player. I threw the Polino uh, out of camera angle, but I end up getting one point on Lexi on this frame too. Okay, we're gonna try that uh, that rail again. That was that group the ball is pretty tight. There you go. You can almost ride the rail on that one. Nice. Kicked it out a little bit. I'm gonna try and kick her out and not touch the Polino. And it worked. And it worked.
work for her too. <laughs> Touching, which she is not. Okay, one point. If she was touching the bullion, she'd get two points on that. Turn again. Now we're even. Lexi went. Oh, oh! No, I have to go down the rail. There's a good chance I might miss. Oh no! Don't. Oh. All right, I'm gonna try and hit my blue ball into her yellow ball and kick them both out. Touching the yeah, you know, so I'll just get two points. Okay, so I won the round. That's uh throwing it on that rail is fun. get another point. That is a 
dead ball. So no, it didn't touch. It did not touch the back wall. So she's still alive. And I believe she's closer. So I will go. Hit me. Hit me closer. And she does. Oh, I'm sorry. Playing in and out. That's probably dead. That's a good throw. That's a really good throw. And she went out of turn. <laughs> My last chance, and I do not do it. So it looks like Lexi will get another single point. try and do is I'm going to try and hit her green one and send that flailing and then mine will stop. Oh. So I believe I have two points sitting here now. Now I just get this one even closer. Oh my three point win. Game. Played at 12. Win by two. Definitely did that. Always make sure you, uh, just like Lexi congratulated me, even though she lost, she congratulated me with good game. Always play with good sportsmanship, and people will continue playing with you, even if you win. Thanks. And I hope Miss Mills' PE class learned something off of this. Thanks for watching again.